Now, your Storm Alert Team Forecast from meteorologist Brittany Foster. Good Monday morning, everyone. We're taking a look at the clouds up in the sky this morning. You can see a little bit of some light movement across eastern Nebraska. We do still have some clouds out there right now at the specific time. A lot of them are in the northern half of the state, but those will continue to push out of the area as we head throughout the morning. Eventually, long temperatures to quickly warm up later today. But even now, it's not that bad out there. We should be in the teens for this time of February. But instead, we're in the 30s and 20s out there. 30 in Northport, Grand Island, Hebron, Lincoln, even off to the west, fairly mild. Scott's Bluff in the 20s right now. So not that bad when we look at our actual air temperatures. Lincoln, we're right at the freezing point, 32 degrees, with a few 20s sprinkled throughout southeast Nebraska. And when you add that wind, which, by the way, is out of the south, it's going to help us later Today, it's still making some of you feel like those teens. Feels like 18 degrees in Beatrice, 17 in Omaha, Nebraska City, 16 in Aurora. So, teens, low 20s this morning for wind chill values. Make sure you are dressing for those, but not that bad this morning as you're heading out the door. And it just gets even better later today, 50 degrees, and that's by 12 o'clock. So, quickly warming today. 3 o'clock. We're in the low 60s out there and also notice how those clouds we had this morning, like I mentioned, will clear out by the afternoon hours pretty quickly, if not even around 12 o'clock or before that. So that's definitely your sign to get those sunglasses ready for later today. Even by 6 o'clock, we'll still be mild in the 50s. So highs today for most of us, low 60s, a few upper 50s, definitely likely out there. I think best chance for those further off to the east of the area. This afternoon, we'll see the wind switching out of the west. It's actually one of the biggest reasons it'll warm us up later today. And as we look at tonight, we'll stay mild instead of the teens, upper 20s tonight. So well above average quiet conditions, not even expecting windy conditions tonight. But that changes tomorrow during the day as a cold front moves through, not impacting our temperatures really, upper 50s, but breezy conditions as a result of that cold front, really Tuesday through Thursday, and also fairly dry out there. So tomorrow we do have a elevated fire risk off to our west, including the Tri-City. So definitely want to avoid any burning for your Tuesday if you are planning on enjoying the warmer temperatures out there. And as we look ahead, really leading into Valentine's Day, notice still a dry weather pattern, that chance for some precipitation late this week kind of really dropped out of the forecast. Temperatures also hovering around the 50s, so it can't get much better out there for February 50s this time of year. It's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll be spending a lot of time outside. Yes, you should. Theo's going to be unleashed again <laughs> at the park. <laughs> All right, thank you so much.